Welcome. Join me as we practice embodying Psalm 104 in preparation for the Easter Vigil. The Easter Vigil is the biggest celebration of our entire church year. We begin together at night in the dark church lit only by candlelight. We hear many readings. We hear the stories of our faith stretching clear from before the creation. At last, we come to the story of Christ's resurrection. We celebrate Easter. The church is brightly lit and we sing and we dance and we sing and we dance and we sing and we dance. One of the first readings of the Easter Vigil this year will be Psalm 104, the creation psalm. Some people will chant the verses of the psalm. Others will create a human sculpture to bring the psalm to life. This video will help you practice at home as you prepare to help us bring Psalm 104 to life. Practice at home in two ways. First, close your eyes, listen to the psalm, and picture or imagine your movement. Then, get up, listen to the psalm, and actually move your body. It will look and feel different during the service, when people are chanting and when you are with other dancers, but the psalm will be inside of you and you will be ready. As you practice moving, remember these important tips. Whole body dances, including your eyes. That's thing number one. Finger number two is you're going to use all of your levels, high shapes and low shapes and medium shapes. The third thing is you're going to move smooth and freeze. Smooth and freeze. And the last thing is you're going to make sure to connect with other dancers. Okay. Now let's practice. You'll hear a bell, a single word or guiding image, and then several verses of Psalm 104. Listen to the bell, then the image, then move smooth and freeze. Light. I will bless you, Lord my God, you fill the world with awe, you dress yourself in light, in rich, majestic light. Sky, you stretched the sky like a tent, built your house beyond the rain, you ride upon the clouds, the wind becomes your wings, the storm becomes your herald, your servants bolts of light. solid, fixed it for good. You made the sea a cloak covering hills and all. At your command the sea fled your thunder. It swept over mountains, down the valleys to its place. You set its limits, never to drown the earth again. Water. You feed springs that feed brooks, rushing down ravines, water for wild beasts, for wild asses to drink, birds nest nearby and sing among the leaves. Growth. You drench the hills with rain from high heaven. You nourish the earth with what you create. You make grass grow for cattle, make plants grow for people. You bring food to eat from the earth and wine to warm the heart, oil to glisten on faces, and bread for bodily strength. Creatures. In Lebanon, God planted trees, the flourishing cedar, sparrows nest in the branches, the stork in treetops, High crags for wild goats, rock holes for badgers. Day and night. Your moon knows when to rise, your sun when to set. Your darkness brings on night when wild beasts prowl. The young lions roar to you in search of prey. They slink off to dens to rest at daybreak. Then people rise to work until the daylight fades. Create. 
God, how fertile your genius. You shape each thing. You fill the world with what you do. I watch the sea, wide and deep, filled with fish, large and small, with ships that ply their trade and your own toy leviathan. Breath. All look to you for food when they hunger, you provide it and they feed. You open your hand, they feast. You turn away, they fear. You steal their breath, they drop back into dust. Breathe into them, they rise. The face of the earth comes alive. Joy. Let God's glory endure and the Lord delight in creating. One look from God, earth quivers. One touch and mountains erupt. I will sing to my God, make music for the Lord as long as I live. Let my song give joy to God who is a joy to me. I will bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. Take time to pray and practice this psalm every day. Then, on the night of the Easter Vigil, meet at 7 p.m. to rehearse with the other dancers. Thank you for helping make Holy Week beautiful.